Lee versus Lee, Hasdell and Rob, this point deduction, does it mean that we might see the Italian ball come out swinging? You ready to fight? I think he's... You ready to fight? Bring it on, come on! I think he's going to have to to make up that deduction. He's going to have to work harder straight away. Lee fakes with a kick. Ivan shoots him for the takedown, a quick scramble. Lee Hasdell back to his feet, both men on their feet. I'm a little surprised at that because I would have thought that Ivan would want to throw a punch or maybe keep it standing, but uh, he's got side control now. Lee just needs to relax and get guard and go to, uh, go to work. This is a position I think that Ivan favours. He likes to ground and pan. He'll be looking to open up, open Lee up and start to fire those shots. Lee doing a good job of keeping covered, keeping his head in tight, keeping it out of the way. Serrati looking for the guillotine as both men hit the cage hard. Serrati is using a lot of muscle now to try and get that guillotine choke, but he's got to be careful not to waste a lot of energy. He's very tight right now. Serrati right, underhook. Yes, we, control. Rob, one thing we forgot is the possible psychological effect of that point on Serati as well. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, he came out like a bull in a china shop for this one. Right now, both <laughs> underhooks are in, trying to control Hasdall. Again, he turns for the guillotine. A good knee, lands clean. Big knee by Serati. Serati being the aggressor here. But Lee is very calm and collected. Doesn't seem to be rattled whatsoever by anything yet. Look at this. Lee trying for his own hip toss. Lee finally gets the Italian with his back to the fence. And you mentioned earlier about the effort. Serati looks already to be blowing quite heavily. Yeah, this is, this is something that he's going to have to get his second wind here. Lee may pivot back and may take him down with a hip toss. He's got that uh, left arm hooked of Serrate. Lee trying to cross face, Serrate getting another takedown. But what can he do with the takedown? Just taking Lee Hasdell down, now he's got to posture up and start throwing punches. Being in close like this, to a guy like Serrati, who's predominantly a striker, is not going to really do anything. And Rob, he's stripped down from heavyweight to light heavyweight. Cardio will surely come into this if it continues this way. I think so, but right now he's all about aggression. He looks as though he's trying to get this finished and finished in this round. He doesn't look like a man that wants to carry it into the second, to be honest, guys. Serrati really not being that effective with his strikes yet. But he seems to want this fight on the floor for some reason. Maybe he heard a rumor that uh, Lee had all of a sudden become a real good kickboxer standing. But, but Lee did tell me. He said he'd love to. And now there's a third takedown by Serrati. So he's definitely winning this round. Got to be careful of that right arm. But Lee needs to get guard before he pulls something. So far Lee Hasdall seems like he's been on the defensive. Very much so throughout his first round. But he's been quite effective in that position though, Rob, hasn't he? He has. He's done a great job of defending. Serrati hasn't actually been, been able to land too many shots clean. He caught Lee with a nice knee earlier, a couple of strikes, but nothing too threatening. I wouldn't be surprised if Lee gave his back to Serrati to, to test the Italian's jiu-jitsu. Knee to the midsection there from Serrati. Hasdell not really concerned so far with the strikes, but especially the submissions from Ivan on top. Yes, Rob, in that respect, Ivan hasn't really gone looking for the submissions, has he? No, this guy's a striker, you know, if he's up on his feet, he likes to bang, if he gets to the ground, he likes to get to a dominant position and start firing in those shots, looking to finish his opponent. Lee's done a great job of defending, Any, anything that has caught Lee has caught him glancing, it's not caught him clean. But those are starting to land, they're not landing precision punches, but those are slicing punches, so what he did unload a number of right hands. Yes, he's beginning to make Lee feel the pain. Especially now in the mount of... Oh, Lee going for an armbar. 
Ivan Serrati shocks us all in the commentary booth from a, a man position where he's striking. It's now an armbar. That looks <laughs> very uncomfortable. It really does. But Lee is spinning out. Oh! Saved by the bell. What a first round. Listen to the crowd, guys. Yes. All of a sudden, Serrati made Hasdell feel the pain. I think Serrati must have watched Lee Hasdell's last fight with Mario Sperry. But is Serrati in the league with Sperry? I don't know, but uh, Lee Hasdell has got to be thinking, wait a minute, I, I thought this guy was a striker. What's going on here? For me, Surratt is winning this fight and his ability to be able to be the strongest man in there. You know, he's showing that his strength is favourable. When they get into these 50-50 positions, it's his strength that's taking it over the edge. Surratt got that double leg takedown, but he couldn't hold Lee down. But then he started chopping away with his right hand, and that really seemed to annoy Lee. A lot of those shots weren't going to end the fight, but they're going to open him up for something like this, getting mounted, and Lee giving up his arm, and he showed a lot of flexibility here. Sorati didn't really have the right leg position, per se. Uh, he, he needed to have Lee behind the back of his knee to get this uh, submission. When you look at the two men in their corners, though, Sorati, as we said, a lot of energy expended in that last round. Hasdell still looks the slightly fresher. I'd like to see Hasdell come out and just start throwing a lot of punches. Second round, and see you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it out, come on! Hosanna up high. I think we're going to see Hasdell start to fire some of his own. And again, Steve, just as in the first round, Serati determined to take it to the ground. And Hasdell doesn't even try and sprawl out. He was thinking about the guillotine, but. I think that uh, Lee's getting tired as well. Serrati again moving to mount position, adjusts himself, takes mount position. Hasdell is going to be in big trouble here, guys. Yeah, this is not going to be good for Hasdell because Hasdell seems to be fading as well. We, we talked about the cardio for Ivan Serrati, but right now, Serrati has got mount. He can take his time. He's got a real high mount. And don't forget, if you've got thoughts on tonight's show, why not drop in on the ProElite.com forums? Earlier in the week, Cage Rage's own fighter stopped in for a forum chat. So check out their comments and add your own on these fights you're watching live tonight here on ProElite.com. Serrati picking those shots and they're hitting home hard. Lee has to win big, big trouble as Serrati keeps firing them in. Lee can't really buck him because he's not sitting over his hips. He, he does have a slight chance to slide out the back door, but right now he's... He's halfway there, and he's getting hit with shots he can't see. Uh, he's going to try and escape out the back door. He needs to lift his hips up real high and keep his head down real low in order to escape this. Because right now, um, Serrati doesn't have the leg hooks completely sunk in, but Serrati's going for the rear naked choke. This good guy. Oh! oh. There it is. Rear naked choke victory by Ivan Serrati. He submits the legend. And Rob, he was clinical from the start of that second round. Do you know what, for me, I think it was a hunger. Ivan Serrati came into this fight hungry. From the minute it started, he just pushed and pushed and pushed the pace. Has to had trouble, was defending off his back quite a bit in the first. Serrati knew he had to continue what he did in the first, in the second. Done a fantastic job. Man position, has to into trouble, turns to his stomach, rear naked choke. Fantastic. I think so. I think that this was a matter of pride for the Italian Ivan Serrati there with his corner. He came into this fight not liking losing his last fight. And he took this fight right at Lee Hasdell. And Hasdell didn't have any answers to the questions that Ivan Serrati was asking. And again, we've got to start talking about the Serrati ground game. Forget the, the ball, the strong striker. We've got to look at the ground game of this man. That's he, right, he did, a, he did a great job looking at the replay, you know. He controlled the position very, very well. As Hasdell tries to turn, he bases well, keeps those shots firing in with great accuracy. That high mount really helped. And Hasdell didn't uh, present any kind of an escape there. Uh, he just kept eating shots. And I, I don't know, but I think that mentally the fight was already won both their heads at this point. 
Asdell gave up his back, didn't try and defend the choke. Had his chin up in the air. A big win for Mr. Serrate. Here it is again. Boy, he got that thing right. See, Asdell kept his chin up in the air when he rolled over. That was a mistake. 